Okay. Oh God. Hi, it's 6, 19 a.m. It's 6, 19 a.m. in the morning. Hi, it's me, Trickers Mattel, and we're hosting the Streamies today, and it's extremely early in the morning. And last night I had the bright idea to get up early and record a video, so here we are. So you guys are gonna see me get ready in the morning at an extremely fast speed. Rare beauty, water, great. Moving up, <laughs> I'm gonna do some Bobby Brown. Ooh. I'm gonna do some Bobby Brown vitamin enriched face face. So we're hosting the Streamies today. It's 6, 19 in the morning, and I'm happy for the opportunity. I'm happy to be doing it. But I will say, when the alarm went off at 5.30, I had some other ideas, but here we are. Because I have to get ready in a hurry, I'm gonna be using a lot of stuff that I know I can like count on to get ready, so. We're gonna do some good old Studio Fix Fluid. This is really good for long days because it's like a silicone water base. It's just very smoothing looking, especially on camera. So I've been using this foundation for a long time and it's because I can kind of like count on it to actually look pretty good, like a lot of hours in. Versus for me, for like a lot of drag foundations, like cream foundations, they just don't look as good towards the end of the day. So I'm hosting the streamies today, as I said. I have to be in a car leaving this house. Oh, <gasps> by eight in the morning. Eight in the morning, which, you know, I'd rather be seeing the sun rise in drag not just starting my day. That's what they don't tell you about drag. You start out, you're doing like a Wednesday night at like 1 a.m. and then they don't tell you the more famous you get, the more your drag job actually becomes a nine to five. You're up early in drag early. Especially in television, because everyone wants to shoot during the day because no one cares about the well-being of drag queens, so. <laughs> Do you see how smooth that looks? Like it just has like a, a super smoothing effect to it. This is weird too. Maybe it's because I've used this foundation for a long time. I like the way it smells. I know that's kind of odd. I just, I like the way it smells. If I seem drunk, it's because this is just getting in drag this early, you guys. It feels so sacrilegious. Like, I, as many times as I've done it, it's just so weird. It's looking pretty good. So I know I'm gonna be wearing a lot of black eyeshadow, so that's why I did liquid foundation today because I don't know, I, something I've never mastered as a drag queen is doing the skin and like all the shaping and then putting on shadows and not having them like fall out on the face. And I find with liquids, I don't get as much fallout, period. Point blank, period. So I'm just gonna give myself a template for this eye makeup. I'm gonna take this House Labs liner. This is good, I've had this a long time and it has not dried out yet. So it's just a template, so it doesn't have to be perfect, but like that's pretty, oh God. You guys know this is not the channel of symmetry, okay? I'm gonna use this Hip Dot Flower Burst Palette. It's so beautiful, so beautiful. The outfit I'm wearing is all like black and pink, so I'm gonna use this because I want some of this pink fantasy. Let's get into it. I'm gonna try to do like a black crease that fades to pink, but we'll see if I can do this. Don't worry, if it doesn't look right, I just have to be on camera for 10 hours. <laughs> I always do this too. Whenever it's an, an important thing that I have to look correct for, I try to get fancy, and then I always end up like totally messing up the whole thing. Do a little bit of purple. Like that looks pretty good, I think. Yeah, or maybe the move is to do like a dark purple. So I think we need some black too under that. So I'm gonna take, this is the black from the little Huda Smoky palette. Why am I holding products like this? Hello. Wait, that's what I'm trying, okay, I think, I think this is gonna work. That's what I like to hear from myself when I have to be in drag all day and I'm doing the makeup for it. I think this will work. Is this even at all? So I'm gonna do some on, under the eye too, obviously. How have I never used this before? This is a good black eyeshadow. Who do beauty smoky obsessions work? If I can make it work at 6.30 in the morning, it's a good black eyeshadow. The number of times I've done drag makeup in a hurry, you guys. I think the fastest I've done like Trixie makeup is probably 50 minutes, like, like shower to, to full wig. I'm sure it didn't look great. But you know what though? The more I get ready in my life against my will extremely fast, the more at sometimes at the end of it, I'm like, you look exactly the same. What are you doing for two hours? Oh yeah, I think, right? I think, I don't know. This is like the channel of I don't know. I'm like, today we're gonna do this. And then it's like, I don't know. I know I'm gonna get to set and I'm gonna be like, I did a makeup video this morning and Katya's gonna be like, you're a psychopath. I'm just gonna take a break and do eyebrows. I'm gonna use the Anastasia Brow Pro Palette because I've used it a million times and I know I can pull it together. 
It's great, it has a million colors in it. If you don't have this, everybody needs it. I've had this probably five years. It looks exactly the same. Love it. Are they even at all? At all? <gasps> They're not at all. Okay, which one's this one? Okay, this one needs to be higher. Okay, 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 okay. Is that closer? That's gonna be closer. Okay, great. Great. Wonderful. See, so, you now if I was like a Hollywood celebrity, I could just sit here and someone would do this. Not us. And I love when I walk onto a set in full drag this early and I'm like, I hope you all appreciate that I was up before you were putting buckets of paint on my bald head. Is that good enough for now? Mm, let's go a little darker on the brows. Just take a little darker. Yes, there's a lot of licking. I think at this point in my life, I've consumed about three brow palettes. Yeah. Who gonna check me, boo? I don't know why I'm trying to look right. Like, I'm hosting the streamies, which, no matter what, there's gonna be so many straight people seeing me the first time who are like, what is that? Which, I understand. What is this? We got the Maybelline Instant, Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Cool Ivory. I'm gonna use this to sculpt my brows. Come on, sis, I need you right now. I need you more than ever. Oh God. Why is it so early? Let's see. Okay, that works for me. Let's see, I know my wig's gonna be like here. I think this is gonna be okay. I think I'm gonna have to shorten this brow a little bit. Yep, like more like there. You don't have to shorten it more like that. Let's do the other one. Let's hope they turn out somewhat similar. I'm excited. We've presented at the Streamies before, but we've never hosted. And we've been nominated like three times. We always lose. But hosting is just an honor. The problem is I'm not a gracious loser. So like, I remember going to the Streamies last year with Ron, the editor Ron, and it was our category and we sat there and we lost and I just turned to Ron and was like, get my purse, Ron. I didn't even have a purse. He was like, what do you, I was like, get the purse. Like, we're getting out of here. And I think there's like the two levels of streamies because I think we were at like the less, the less fancy streamies because um, the catering was at in and out truck work. I'm so flustered, it's so early. Okay, do some more foundation. Paint my whole head. Doing a makeup video this early was, it was a choice I made. It was a choice I made. Choices. Ears, please. Paint the ears, please. This is a PSA to America. And paint the neck, please. If I'm not talking as much, you guys, I get ready so fast. Which is why I always look crazy. <laughs> the other funny thing about hosting the streamies is, every time we've gone to the streamies, I'm like dazzled, because I'm like, oh my God, all these YouTube celebrities. And then I have to tell Conti who everyone is. <laughs> Clean brush. We're blending, we're blending, we're blending. All right, we got some lovely instant age rewind in mahogany. I need an instant age rewind, sis. I'm just gonna place it. <laughs> Does the forehead look small? It's so small. You guys, I love these concealers. They're like, so good to wear as foundation. I know that's disgusting and it's not exactly sustainable because you run through a full bottle very quickly, but there we go. Cool. We're blending, we're blending. Is this okay? Are they even at all? Actually, not bad. Okay, we're doing it. Okay, 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 okay. Um, yeah, I mean, sure. <laughs> I feel like the longer I do drag, the more I don't like suffer. I don't panic the whole process. I'm just like, ah, eh, it'll turn out. And if it doesn't, I'll wear a bang. I don't know what this face is I make when I'm doing this. It needs a little white. I think I have a white concealer. This is the ColourPop white concealer. I think it's supposed to be like an adjuster to lighten foundation, but I just use it as highlight, like that. I know that's weird. I don't feel bad about it. I need to text Katya and see how she's doing. Normally when it's this early and we have to do something, it's because I say yes and she has to go along with it. And then when it's this early, I'll text her like, girl, and she's like, girl. And I oop. It's moments like this, I wonder how Jasmine Masters is doing, you know? Does anybody else think of Jasmine Masters all the time? <laughs> like, 
I love her. We aren't that close. I think of her a lot. I don't know why. She has like a saying for everything and like, I just think of her a lot. How crooked is my face today? All right, we're gonna draw on the nose before things get even more wild. I don't know, you guys. It's just, I know this is a drugstore concealer, but it's good, so that's why I'm using it. Sure, I guess. Oh God. That nose is crazy. What have I done? Oh shit. You know what? We'll just work around it, okay? Yeah, that doesn't look good, so I'm gonna have to fix that. <laughs> what time is it? Seven Okay. This is a time in the makeup where I start to panic. This probably will powder down fine. It just looks a little crazy right now. I mean, whatever. It'll be okay. <laughs> Let's just powder it and keep going. Famous last words, right? I got this Anastasia loose setting powder. Oh, I forgot to do my jaw. Oh my God. Oh my God. Nobody would recognize me without the chin strap. Oh, that looks a little better. Okay, we just need powder. For these long days, I really like pound it in, man. 7.04 currently. I have to be in a wig in a car in 56 minutes. Can we do it? I think we can do it. So we're doing the entire streamies in a moving vehicle. So there is no like powder room. There's no makeup room. So I have to kind of like show up ready. And I think this is actually gonna be okay. Famous last words. Touch up some of the darker spots of the makeup. Cause sometimes when you powder, you take away some of the intensity of the black. Okay, sure. Let's keep going. So as you guys know, my favorite white eyeliner has flown the coop. NYX really decided to leave me out to dry and frankly, they're on my list now. I got the Inglot liner in 76. I've never used this, I've used the black one. We'll have to try. Yeah, I think this is gonna be okay. Look, looks pretty white. It's definitely softer than the NYX. Because it's softer, I think I'm gonna have to do two layers, but it looks pretty good. And I've never felt more personally attacked by the discontinuation of a product than that product. It was like, you really want me to quit drag, huh? So far, it's good. It's not as white and it's not as thick, but oh my God, it's not as white. It, it'll work. It's just not, I'm gonna have to do like two passes of it and I don't really have the time. So like, see, that's pretty good, but like, I'm gonna have to do that all again. So Inglot, you're not really doing a white liner. You're doing a, a clear white liner and we expected more of you. See, I used to think like I could talk about these brands and they would, it would never get back to them. I found that if I love or hate something, it always gets back to them. And if, they if I love it, they're like, can we send you more? I'm like, yes. And if I hate it, they're like, we're sorry you had a problem with our product. Can we send you a Subway gift card? And I'm like, oh. yeah. You see that? It's not white. Category is white liner that's not white. See, on the second pass, it's getting more white, but like, I'm gonna have to powder that with white eyeshadow. If you're making makeup and you're calling it a white liner and it's a liner that's not white, you go back to the lab, sis. All right, we're gonna do some more passes of this white. You know what I think I might try next? I think I might have to try the MAC Chroma Line in white, but that's not exactly eye safe. So, I mean, that's, it took two layers. It does look good, but it took two layers, so I'm mad. I'm gonna powder it. I'm gonna powder it and it's gonna be okay. Do I have a white eyeshadow here? All right, I got my artistry palette. Here's a white in here. James is nominated today. Oh, uh, and it's an influencer nominated for the same category. So if I don't win, I hope he wins. But I hope I win. I feel like at award things, you're supposed to like not care if you win. I'm like, I care. I'm not here to lose. Yeah, looks okay. Okay, okay. So now we're gonna do some liner. My favorite, when I have a day like this where I have to have it look right, Beauty Bakery, Lollipop Liner, oh my gosh. If you wanna support a great black owned business, Beauty Bakery, amazing, amazing packaging, amazing quality, the nicest people, I love them. So I'm gonna take this liner, cause this one's gonna be really like, almost like a natural matte finish. And I'm gonna use this to clean. Do you see how pinpoint perfect that is? And I use a lot of pen tip liners and this one is so nice and stiff. A lot of times the pen tip liners for me they have too much give, and this one's nice and like, has some body to it. So when it gets to this point, I never fill in the whole eye with a pen liner because I don't, <laughs> don't want to waste it. This is acrylic paint from MAC. This is body paint, and you're not supposed to use it on your eyes, but like, for a long day like this, I need that level of like, so that's what I'm doing. Like, do you see how black that is? But it's really not meant for your eyes, but I do it anyway. 
The only thing about this stuff is try not to use too much. If you put on too sh like thick, it really takes a long time to dry. But if you do a thin layer, it's very opaque. You don't need to use very much. Okay, okay. Did I snap? You guys, did I snap? I think I, s sis, I think you snapped. You didn't have to go off, sis. That actually looks kind of good and kind of symmetrical. So I'm gonna move on for now. Um, I gotta finish doing some of the shapes in my face. I'm gonna do a little bit of prefacing the Studio Fix powder under the eye. There we go. Do you see how that just like smooths? You know what I like the most about Studio Fix powder? The more that like Mac becomes, I don't wanna, I, this sounds like a read, available. Let's just say like it's it's not as exclusive as it used to be. I, like now when I'm on tour, I know if I run out of Studio Fix powder, I can just get it. Like selfishly, I'm like, put Mac in the Walgreens. Like I'm sick of going to the suburbs to get a powder. I gotta cut my cheek. What do I have? What do I have? Okay, okay. Nobody judge me, I'm using an eight by 10. Isn't that beautiful? If you're not cutting your cheek with an eight by 10, you're not doing drag. Did you guys sense the energy difference in this video when I'm in a hurry? If you thought it was chaotic in here before, girl, that was then. Okay, this is actually turning out. Dare I say, this is turning out exactly how I th hoped it would turn out. I saw this picture of Alyssa Edwards for this Anastasia campaign and she had like this pink smoky eye and I was like, I want that. And I can't believe I did it. Using the monitor as a mirror, always a good sign. Okay, okay. Sis, snap off your wig. Where's the pink shadow? Oh my God. You guys, it's 723. <gasps> I'm gonna wing this pink out a little more there. Yes, just a little more, a little more. You guys, I think I snapped. We gotta do mascara. No time to celebrate. I got my Maybelline The Falsies. I tried this for a Maybelline video and I just like it. It's good. It has a nice short brush handle. I like mascaras with a short brush handle. I don't like like this long wand. I want like nice and short. I'm gonna do a little bit more of white under the eye. <laughs> Studio Fix Shivering White. This part of the makeup always seems pointless, but like look at that. See how that just like lifts a little more? Yeah, love it. We're gonna do some lips. I can't really decide what kind of lip I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna do the lashes and the wig and everything and end with the lip and be right back. All right guys, I got the wig and the costume on. As usual, sis snapped. I'm gonna do some setting spray here. This is the Kimchi Stage Proof Matte Setting Spray. We'll just see about that. Oh God. All right, it's a little aggressive. Doesn't burn, you know, a lot of, for me, I don't know about you guys, I have sensitive skin, a lot of setting sprays like burn my face. So that was, that was lovely. I can't decide is the lip, is the move a hot lip or a light lip? I think it's light. So I'm gonna use Edge to Edge, one of my favorite MAC pencils, just to give myself like a general lip shape. You know, sometimes my fame perplexes me and then I see myself like this and I'm like, of course you're a huge celebrity. There was no way of hiding you, you know what I mean? And then I'm gonna take Makeup Forever Artist Pencil. These are so, these are the best lip liners I've ever used, 100%. I'm just gonna go around it for depth. I find with like my big like nude lips, my big drag nude lips, it's actually harder than if I just painted them pink, you know what I mean? And then I'm gonna do, do I have a pink? What is this, Candy Yum Yum? I'm gonna do a little bit of Candy Yum Yum. Like it's gonna be a nude, but it's gonna be a little bit pink. This is Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink in Loyalist. I think we used this in my video. Yeah, this is the move. I really like these. The only thing I don't like about these is they dry to like a texture that is like a vinyl. So like your lips sort of feel like patent leather, like kind of plasticky. I mean, they look good, but they, they feel a little odd, but I do like them. It's 7.53, it's 7.53. Is it a serve? It's a serve, are you kidding? All right, since we have a couple seconds, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to get fierce, hold on. Watch, let me ruin the makeup. I have some ooky spooky here, and I kind of want to try to do a little bit of ooky spooky under the lash line. I really love ooky spooky, and honestly, I don't use it enough only because I'm always running late. <laughs> so like the thought of sitting here and putting on like a final dash of, gl of like glue and glitter is usually not happening. So I just painted a little bit of glue under there, and I'm just gonna, see that? Just like a little bit of, sp oh yeah, that's the move. 100%, I'm the best. <gasps> Am I a makeup artist? You see that? Just a little bit of, oh God, I'm a makeup artist. <gasps> I love myself. If I lose my award today, at least I lost looking like this. Look at the material. Look at these new earrings. So the girl who makes a lot of my jewelry, her name's Kyle, look at these. They're like my normal Trixie hearts, but black. Isn't that cute? 
I love wearing plastic jewelry because it's lightweight and if it falls off my ear, nothing happens. Versus like big pageant jewelry, if it falls off, it usually breaks. That's it, I think. Well, um, I'm gonna um, end the day here, so I'm gonna see you guys. We'll see what this makeup looks like in about 10 hours. I forgot blush. Classic Tracy Martell running out the door, forgot blush. We're gonna do Summer of Love. Um, I'm gonna do a little bit of Girl on Girl, which is this really soft peach. And that's why I'm gonna apply like front of the face. Cause I wear so much contour. I like to wear like a light blush in the front of the face and then a dark blush in the back. To see how that just like, just already like marries. I mean, let's be honest, like the deep chocolate contours. And then I'm gonna take Side Chick, which is a hot pink. And that's what I'm gonna press like into the pocket back here. Do you see how that just has a little more than that? It relates to the eye, it relates to the outfit. It's great to create color relationships in makeup applications. All right, now I'm going to the streamies. Oh my gosh, it is 7, 10 p.m. and I have finally finished doing my hosting for the streamies. It was very fun, it was very cool. There was a lot of surprises. The winners were shook, the nominees were shook. The bus was shaking at several points, but it was a wonderful opportunity. I can't believe I've been in drag this long, you guys. I am so ready to get out of drag. Please watch the streamies. Kati and I had such a good time hosting. It was such a wonderful opportunity, and I love the streamies. And if you love YouTube, you're gonna love it. So I'll see you at the streamies.